Ghost Coconut. Okay, so we got some news today. And while a lot of it is, you know, stuff that needs to be taken care of, the infinite loading screen, uh, having matches with less button than five players, matchmaking, the emblems ranking and pips, and while this this just sounds like they're happy with it and they're just gonna keep going the the way they're going uh, oh well right they talk about the uh dedicated servers they're talking about a legion update um but when it comes to the legion and freddy i remember when they were going to rework uh the wraith so i'm not really excited that we're getting these updates and the reworks I'm going to be um, excited when I see what they are and how they're going to impact the game. So, so in that regards, we'll we'll see what happens. Because um, I mean, they'll review the the changes next week. All of these things, I think, we're going to hear next week. But really, the one thing that I'm really interested in is the end game collapse. They give no information about this um, and just that they're going to talk about it in a video next week. So whatever the end game collapse is, they have to explain it in video form. They can't talk about it or write about it because there's probably going to be a lot of co um, confusion about what's going to happen. But I think the fact that they use the word collapse, I think that kind of tells us all we need to know about it. When I read this, I remembered a scene from this movie called The Langoliers. I'm going to show you that clip, and I think we'll be on the same page as to imagining what this is going to look like. What happened? Are we crashing? Listen, Mr. Warwick, sit down, strap yourself in, and everything will be all right. For the longest time, we've been asking for a way to kick survivors out of the match, to prevent them from hanging around the gates, wasting time when the match is essentially over. A lot of people have been asking for a way to, for there to be a timer, um, a, a, an amount of time before something happens and the survivors can no longer escape. I think that's what we're looking at here. I'm not sure if this is, I mean, depending on what they did, this, we have no way of knowing what they did or what this is going to look like. But I think at the very least, what we're looking at is a timer. The survivors after the last gen is finished or the gates open, the survivors are only going to have a limited amount of time before, before the collapse completes, before it finishes. Uh, doing whatever it's doing uh, and if they are caught uh, in the collapse and and they don't escape you know something else will happen but I think I think this is essentially an end game timer man I wish I had more to to share about that but now that I got it out it's it's kind of a really simple idea man oh well that's it I think the end game collapse is a timer so what it all entails I guess we'll find out next week when he first came out, I was really excited to play as Freddy. I was actually going to main him. And then I realized what he was like. Since then, everybody's been trying to get them to change him to do something new. And the devs announced that they were going to rework him completely. We have no idea what they're going to do. But I think the uh, simple changes, the end game, the Legion, all of those are going to happen next week. But we're not going to hear about what's going on with Freddy until next month. It sounds like they're going to rework everything uh, that is Freddy. So if you're a Freddy main and you've mastered Freddy, uh, wah wah, joke's on you. So unfortunately, or fortunately, uh, we essentially get a new killer if you want to think about it that way. Um, I'm really interested to see what they decide to do. But after all of the things that the devs have done in the past, I'm not confident in what's going to happen. I think in some way it's going to be 
I don't know. I hope I'm wrong. I hope it's fantastic. I hope it's the perfect change and it's wonderful and everybody loves Freddy after that. But I don't know. I remember the Wraith Cube. I remember the Trapper um, add-on rework. I remember a lot of things over the years and not much of the changes, not many of the changes has instilled a great deal of confidence in future changes. So, you know, forgive my cynicism, but I don't, I'm going to wait and see. I'm, I'm interested. I'm not overly excited. I want to see what they've decided. I want to see what they've done and then we can decide. Dedicated uh, servers are coming, but I don't know. I don't see this. <laughs> I don't see the dedicated servers uh, change going very smoothly. So have a side game ready. Have something else to do, because I think we're going to have a lot of outages, a lot of disconnects. I think we're going to have a lot of login issues, a lot of downtime while they fix things. That's that's what I see. But I mean, I do like these updates. I like that they're giving us information as to what their plan is over the next week, over the next month. So I think all in all, I think it's a very good thing that they're doing these while they're not giving us a timeline, which is smart, letting us know exactly what they're looking at and exactly, you know, how they're thinking about taking care of it. I think it's a very, very good step. And I hope we get a lot more of these in the future. So in the meantime, we're going to wait and see because we'll find out what these are next week. The Legion update and the endgame collapse. At least we'll get some new information. We have something to be interested in. We'll find out what the deal is. <sighs> and then Freddy. Freddy the Big Cupcake is going to come to uh, next month. I don't know why I said it was a big cupcake. I am on a diet and I don't want to be. <laughs> My fiance loves me too much. Anyway, so... I am interested to see how this change is going to be. The uh, thing with uh, less than uh, five players in a match, how we're going to get kicked out back to the uh, to the lobby. Is that what's going to happen? Game starting with less than five players are currently in a common occurrence. This causes blah, 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 starting the next mid-chapter update. If the situation is detected, players will be returned to the tally screen, keeping their items, add-ons, and offerings, and will be notified that the game has been canceled. Okay, so the game gets mat uh, canceled, so the match ends if they end up going uh, without a, a person. So that's interesting. And then we'll have to load up a new lobby and hope that it doesn't happen again. Uh, everybody gets to keep their items, so I think that's actually a, a pretty good thing. Um, people are going to complain about it happening at all, and people, you know, losing time. But I think this is a good compromise for now whatever they decide to do with the uh, dedicated servers, those are probably also going to tie into this change. So everything else is just kind of meh. I haven't had a problem with matchmaking. Um, I've given up caring about rank and pips. In case you didn't notice, I'm still rank 7. I don't go out of my way to play the game the way the devs intended. I just go out and I hunt survivors. That's all I do. Sometimes I pip, sometimes I don't. But... Uh, more often than not, survivors get sacrificed, and that's good enough for me. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, this this whole system, I need to talk about this system one of these days, because forcing us to jump through hoops meh, is dumb. It's totally dumb. Anyway, that's just a quick and dirty thing about this developer update thing that we got. I'm really interested to see what'll happen next week, but until then, we're just going to be guessing. I'm guessing the end game collapse. Yeah, I think that's going to be. I think we're finally going to see the end of uh, wasted time at the end of matches. So that'll be nice. Yeah, next week. Next week we'll get the details. So in the meantime, I'll see you in the fog. <laughs>